Hey guys, it's me, Grubbits. Today I'm going to show you how to make this donk base, which was inspired by the main base in I Do Coke from Feed Me and Kill the Noise. And let's get right into it. Okay, so the main patch by itself sounds like this. Not very interesting. Uh, it's just saws, you know, uh, how you would have your usual saw plug, you know, it's, really you could have, you could just do this with a saw and a filter and boom, that's it, just add some compression and you're posting, you're done. Uh, but I went the fancier route because I know it's an original sound. It's a lot, it's not, it's clicky, but it's got some attack to it, a little bit, uh, it's got some noise. And what I did was that I FM'd it by another saw. You know, just not, just really kind of like fucking around. I wasn't exactly like listening to the sound too much and being like, oh, how does, you know, maybe that sounds like a square, like the mixed in squares with that, or it has FM. But I did think it might have had some FM. I would just FM it by a higher octave saw with some detune, but this doesn't have detune, so it just gives it this detune effect but without the wideness and stuff it's kind of like turning the uh width down on in serum and then i just you know low passed both of them on a filter to create a plug effect and i had a very long decay with your usual settings for decay for attack and release no sustain so it's just a very long pluck and uh i added a little bit of resonance too and it's cutting off at about 74. So it's not, you know, it's not opening up 100% because if it did, it would sound different. So you kind of want that to be a bit darker, you know? The noise is really helping out the sound because without the noise, it's... It's not a huge difference, but it definitely adds to it. Without the noise, it's too dark. With the noise. It's got more impact to it. So as you can notice, we'll get into the post later. The post is what's really driving the sound to a greatness, I guess. Okay, so I added some distortion, so just some soft clip, and I just automated it um, together with the volume to really just emphasize the attack. Uh, the hyperdimension, same thing, a bipolar off on that, so, you know. EQ, uh, the EQ settings, just like a bipolar high pass, kind of just sweeping the high pass. Turning, turning down the resonance as it goes. I originally had a low pass as well, but we already have a low pass. So I don't want to. I don't want to low pass the noise. They should really add that uh, to fucking this, uh, like uh, the effects. You know, like bypass specific oscillators. That would be great. Uh, so comms filter, just something simple, not too complex. No bass, nothing like a bass, like a dubstep bass or anything. But, but it definitely does add a lot of, you know, color. Subtle, but, you know. So I have a minus one attack. Uh, it's kind of like, again, like I said, to emphasize the uh, the attack. I have an LFO going backwards uh, on the attack LFO. Multiband, of course. And then, of course, by itself doesn't really sound like much. But now we'll get, we're getting into the good stuff, which is the post-process. So this... You can ignore this, you don't need to do this, but this is just more like an effect I have. So like, mono, wide, mono, wide, mono, wide, mono, wide. You don't really need that. Not important. This, however, is, you're cutting any stereo below 500. So everything below 500 is mono. It's a bit tight, but you don't really want, for me at least, I don't really want my basses to be too wide. I, I, you could just do that. You, you know, manually by yourself, and that's exactly what I did. I think I have a uh, reverb doing that. So yeah, I just cut the bass at 500. I could have done it with like an EQ, but I don't know. Just I was feeling adventurous. Uh, reduce ambient. So it's just like a reduce. So it's basically reduce OGT, reduce OGT, reduce OGT. You know that pattern just to get the general power. That's the power of it. Saturator is basically turning up the volume. So it's basically reduce OTT. Then the second copy is the same thing, but you have the mix turned down a bit. And then saturator on hard curve, 
another reduce, but way, uh, way less, uh, mix. Then I have a, uh, I have a vocoder, which is on modulator with the bands at 12 with the range all the way up and the hertz all the way down. And then you have another OTT. And then you have another saturated, which is also R and hard curve and another OTT. So really, I don't really tamper with the OTTs. Maybe the time, but I don't think I've done that in this one, no. The time gives it more attack, but, you know, you could just do that with the really has ambience and, uh, compressor. Then, you know, same thing with, uh, saturator. Just like, uh, reduce OTT and saturator, and you duplicate that three times. Uh, be careful, because it could definitely destroy your sound. You could hear some artifacts in this. Uh, reverb, you know, just a light, just a little chain here. This is the dry, this is the wet all the way up. You know, I have it compressed, uh, all the way, so it, there's like a 0%, uh, wet dry signal. I mean, a 0% wet signal. Uh, when the when the actual transient of the bass hits because you don't want any reverb on that You don't want it to get washed out very light though reflect all the way up the decay almost all the way down And just you know cutting the bass, you know, you don't really you don't really want the bass in your reverb Now this reverb is different. This reverb is automated. So it's purposely really really intense You can see that being automated here. That's just for an effect again. You don't really need that This is the EQ pattern now this EQ pattern. I added it because I didn't think it would add a sub and that's what you heard when I took the bass away. It's powerful, but sometimes the main bass's bass could interfere with the actual sound. So you can notice that when I turn on the bass cut, which is cutting at 120 lightly, it actually clears up the sound, makes it a lot cleaner. And if you want bass, just add the sub bass. But I can't really enable that right now because of, uh, yeah. Oh wait, yeah. Some sounds work better with n their natural sub, but 90% of the time, separate sub is better. And if you just want a clickier sub, then of course just add a LFO tool or an L envelope on the uh, volume to match, you know, the, the nature, the architecture of the original sound, which is a pluck. Then for emphasis on the attack, I just added a very extreme glue compressor all the way down to minus 20, going up to 8 because it's... It was hitting at 5, but I wanted it to distort a little bit more, and I wanted it to get louder than it originally was, and I just slammed that shit, and, you know, 50%, because that's parallel. A soft clip, of course. And then this is just kind of the same thing, except I'm not really slamming it. I'm just mo turning it down until it reaches, in until it actually starts reducing, and then I turned it up to my desired volume, and that's basically just, like, to turn up the volume. And boom! That's what it is. That's the sound. And again... The importance of post-processing. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know a lot of you have been saying that my tutorials are fast and simple and to the point, and I hope that I definitely did match that. This tutorial, I really hope so, but I don't think this is a bit longer than usual. So forgive me, <laughs> forgive me on that. I could maybe edit to get to the point. But, hey, whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something. And I would show you an A-B comparison from I Do Coke and this song, and this sound, but you you, you gotta do that by yourself, because I don't want to get copy strike. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. Oh, and as a little treat, I want to try something on this real quick. I want to record my voice, and you might want to turn down your volume just in case. Dun, dun, dun. I Do Pepis. So I can work harder. So I can earn more. So I can do more pepis. All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and try that. I do, I do. It, it, it hits, it hits like right here. Okay. I do, I do, I do pepis. Oh, that's perfectly in time. Oh man. Let's go ahead and cut the bass. I don't really want to add too much to this. Just maybe, you know, just add your general compression. Okay, so I do pepis so I can work harder so I can earn more so I can do more pepis. Dude, this is perfectly in time. No tampering. What the fuck? All right. I do pepis so I can work hard. <laughs> oh my god. This is perfect. So I can work harder. But maybe what I could do is just add a little bit of effect. I do pepis. So I can work harder. So I can earn more. So I can do more business.